In this video, you will learn how to generate this Gantt chart in Microsoft Excel. I have generated this Gantt chart using the set of data. It is the data about the scientific project. And I have three column data. First column shows the description of project, which is the division of this project into different phases or different tasks. Second column shows the starting date of each phase. And third column shows the duration of each phase. So let's start this tutorial. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data. Firstly, click any empty cell. Go to insert option. And in insert option, go to chart option. And in chart option, you will find the option of insert column or bar chart. Click here. And in 3D bar, select this option, which is the 3D stacked bar. Click here. Now you can see here we have inserted a blank chart. Now right click on chart area and select this one select data in select data there is option of legend entries and click here add option in series name i will write starting date i will select this cell you can also manually write starting date here now in series values clear existing data and select these values without header click on ok now again click on add button and in series name select duration or write duration manually and in series value clear existing data and select duration values without header click on ok now in horizontal axis labels click on edit option if this video is helpful for you then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos and select description data sorry firstly i will clear existing data and now i will select description data click on ok then again on ok now you can see here these phases are not in chrono in correct order i will rearrange them first select this one right click go to format axis option and in axis option you will find the option of categories in reverse option reverse order i will check this option now you can see here these are arranged alpha these are arranged according to our requirement now go to this fill and line option i want to insert a solid line so i will check this solid line option and here you can color color of line can be adjusted from here i will select black color and the width of line should be 1.5 pt now go to home option and from here you can adjust the font of these data labels i will select bold black color and 10.5 pt similarly i will select other axis and I want to insert a solid line. So in fill and line option, I will select solid line. Black color is already selected. And the width should be 1.5 pt. Now go to this axis option. And from here, select tick marks. I want to insert tick marks on outside so I will select outside and outside now from home you can select the font size of data labels I will select black and 10.5 pt now I will select it again to insert these tick marks on outside now i will close this one go to this chart element option 
I want to insert chart title so I will check this option if you want to insert access title you can check this option I don't want to insert access title so I will uncheck this one if you want to add data labels you can check this option and if you want to add data table you can check this option I want to remove these grid lines so I will uncheck this option now I will close this one Firstly, I will resize it. Now click on this bar. You can see here half bar is selected which is in a blue in color. Now right click. Go to format data series option. And go to this fill and line option from here i will select no fill and no border line now click on other bar i will close this one and click on these bars now you can sorry data labels are selected i will click here now you can see here the bars are selected right click sorry click here right click go to format data series option and go to fill and line option from here you can select the solid fill and you can select any color i will select green and you can also insert a solid line around these bars so i will select solid line with black color and width is 0.75 pt now i will close this one now i will select these data labels click here you can see here whole data labels are selected i will select backscape option Similarly, I will select these data labels and I can adjust their font size. I will only bold them. Now select this data label. Click here and adjust their font size. Now again click on this data table. Click here. You can see here this dot appear. It means this data label, the data table is selected. Right click, go to format data table, and from here go to fill and line option, and in border option select solid line. Now I want to get rid of this extra space. For that purpose, we have to adjust the minimum and maximum values click here right click go to format axis option you can see here the minimum value is in numbers and you can see here on axis it is date so firstly we will convert the date into numbers to adjust minimum and maximum values you can see here the starting date of project is 10th january i will write minimum as 5 january Similarly, the end date of project is around 29th June. So I will write sorry 19th June. So I will write 25th June. Now I will select these dates and here you will find the option of numbers and here is there is a drop down menu of customs click here and i will select numbers now you can see here dates are converted into numbers again click here and in minimum value write this one which is the 5th january double four five double six And in maximum value, double four seven three seven. Now 
now i will close this one if you want to adjust title click here put equal sign in formula bar select this one and press enter and you can adjust its font size from using these options last option is how to adjust the format of this date simply select this one right click go to format axis option and if you scroll down you will find the option of numbers and in numbers there is the option of category from here you can select date and in type you can select any format i want to insert date in this format so i have selected this one you can see here the format is changed that's the end of this tutorial thanks for watching this video goodbye